Thanks everybody for turning up. Joel Ben here, business analyst in the services team. Uh, the Research Grants API, uh, which is one that's sort of been in the making for a little while, um, obviously to encourage users to really um, link their data to activities or grants themselves to create that mesh in the, in the data commons. We've been working with the NHMRC to get grant information in, in Research Data Australia for the last uh, 12 months or so. That has been is it, it's moving. We've actually got information up until 2011. Um, and this, this API is a way of actually um, searching those grants um, within Research Data Australia and pulling back information about them. So again, in data capture tools or in inscription tools, when people are recording their um, data collections, they can actually provide users with a pick list to go and say, yes, this is related to this research grant. Another use case for it would be to say, finding all the grants that have, ba um, have been given to specific institutions um, or are related to specific individuals themselves. So again, just the address researchdataustralia.ans.org.au forward slash developers. The web services themselves, um, they're not as pretty because there's no real fancy front end to them. Um, there are little explanation diagrams um, for each, uh, I think nearly all of the the services that we have, um, just showing sort of how they work. There's obviously the description and the use cases for each of the services, how people might want to implement them and the useful points about, about them. As you can see here, before you start, the one thing to note about the services themselves is that um, any developer that wants to use them actually has to register for a API key that they pass um, when they call them ser the services. And that's just a way of us knowing and identifying who's actually using the services. Um, you don't have to be uh, a a user with a log on to the registry, um, you can just click the link and it'll take you to a publicly accessible page where you can fill out the organisation, the contact email and why you want to uh, basically use the, the API key. Um, and you click register and it will basically right there and then generate you a key um, to pass with the service calls. Uh, in much the same way as the widgets, we have tables containing all the parameters that can be passed to the services themselves. Um, and again, the developers will understand that and if they don't, they can get in contact via the community um, forum. There's a couple of, in some of the, the services, they're a little bit trickier. There's sort of some sort of FAQs or common questions about um, the services just to help out. Um, and a couple of example uses of uh, working um, service calls. Um, and that's pretty much all I've got.